This channel supports Extra Life in its efforts to raise money for the Children's Miracle Network. For more information about how to donate and join in their efforts, go to the link displayed here. Extra Life. Play games. Heal kids. What up everybody, this is your boy Black Magus and I'm going to talk about Andrew Luck who surprisingly retired at the age of 29 this week. Um, and there's been a lot of um, controversial talk around this. A lot of people have been questioning his heart. A lot of people are questioning the league. I'm questioning all you dumb fucks out here who are questioning his heart and his choice to decide to retire while he can still enjoy it. Um, all right, so here's the thing. Andrew Luck would have probably went down as one of the greatest quarterbacks ever. I think he had the skill set that made us all think that he was going to be on that trajectory. Problem is, he played for an organization who did everything they could to get him. And then once they got him, didn't do everything they could to protect that asset. Um, yeah, a lot of this is on Jim Ursay for all those years of letting him get and beat the shit by defensive linemen and linebackers and safeties and shit hell even corners because he couldn't protect his quarterback behind that awful offensive line i mean the man got sacked like a ridiculous amount of times had a ridiculous amount of injuries in the time that he was quarterback and mind you most football players do have injuries i get it a lot of people play through pain but he was getting punished like and to hear some of the stuff he played with, like the lacerated kidney and all that. Yes, I know older players used to play through all types of shit. But that was back in the day when that mentality was different. And oddly enough, being in my 40s, I have to say, was pretty goddamn ridiculous and foolhardy by those players. To do everything they could to stay on the field to help their team. I mean, I get team loyalty. I get wanting to win the championship and all that. But I will side with anybody like Andrew Luck or some of the other recent players that we had retire. I can't remember his name, but there was a linebacker in San Francisco who only had been in the league for about three or four years. And he was pretty much building towards a really solid career. He was like, yo, I made some money. I did my time. I'm out, yo. I'm not fucking my body up. Fuck that shit. Y'all can have this shit. I don't blame anybody who has that mentality. Because, like Andrew Luck said, when you get beaten down like that, you start to lose the love for the game. And I don't think it's because these people lack a love or the passion for the game. They just have a little bit more love and passion for themselves, which ain't a bad thing. Because, let's be honest, as fans, as much as we cheer on these players, do we really care about them as a person? Nine times out of ten, we probably don't. They're the guy in the uniform that does spectacular things, and we love them because of all the spectacular things they do to help our team win. Um, we don't sit and dwell on the fact that, you know, yeah, he's not on the injured list, but he may have, you know, a couple of broken bones in his hand. You know, he might have some cracked ribs. Um, shit, I was just talking to somebody talking about Tony Romo, how he played with a fucking punctured lung. Like, you know, we don't think about that shit. We, if we do, then we masquerade it with the whole, yo, he's a fucking beast, yo. He, this man, like, yo, that's a G. He's a fucking warrior, blah, blah, blah. It's like, yeah, okay, sure. But at the end of the day, he's gonna lose the war because his body is just gonna crumble and you know i get it i get it. there's a lot of fear that you're gonna see the game that you love change or go away especially with things like cte and concussions and all that being a big hot topic um discussion but at the end of the day you can't knock these people for protecting themselves i know it's hard i know it suck especially if you're in indianapolis um Colts fan that your team has lost their best player but you know what yo he was losing any type of comfort or chance at a C 
seemingly okay afterlife. I'm not even going to say a regular or a pleasant afterlife in his career once his career was done. Because the injuries that he was accumulating, he was going to be one of those people that you just see like just looks, looks bashed to shit. You know, I, I thought about Earl Campbell when I saw this and I was listening to the reactions, things like that. It's like, yo, y'all remember how Earl Campbell was when they visited him many years after his career? Man couldn't walk. Man was just like, and yo, as a kid, we used to all cheer Earl Campbell because we were like, yo, look at this motherfucker. He's like running over everybody. He ain't scared of shit. He's just pounding the fuck out of defensive um, backfields. He's just a fucking beast. And it's like, what was the cost of being that fucking beast? His mobility, his pride, you know. His normalcy. It, just to do certain things. Like, he can't do certain things for himself. He couldn't do certain things for himself. In his retirement, like, he was struggling. And people were like, well, what about the money? Like, I heard that there was, an es there was an estimate that Andrew Luck probably would have had a half a billion dollars by the end of his career. Okay, yeah. Fucking great. What are you going to do with that half a billion dollars but, like, spend on medicines and pills and therapy and just trying to hold your body together and hold your mind together because you're so fucked up. Like, yeah, you can look and smile at that number, but you do that as you possibly have to be wheeled around by help or some shit like that, you know, and be in your late thirties, early forties, like suffering and shit like that. Like as you age, things get way worse than they do for the normal human being with a, with ages ravages, you know? So yeah, nah, he good. He's good. Um, enjoyed watching him play when he was on the field really good sucks because the two quarterbacks that everybody thought were going to be possibly the best around are pretty much not around i mean rg3 still playing but he's in a backup role and it was injuries that fucked his career up you know like with him i mean shit with him it was just like that one fucking hit destroyed his career you know and he's sure he's not in pain but he lost his career like the injuries thing can do so much damage to you it could stop a career before it started like RG3 or it could make it a career unbearable like it did Andrew Luck like the number one and the number two picks right now aren't the like stars of the league like we thought they were um, one because he had enough the other because he just went to obscurity after being hurt you know like shit you know and that's just so she like it's the cruelty of the game like again I think I would rather be Andrew Luck than RG3 because shit, RG3 tried to go through and play through it. It didn't work. His injury got like worse. The rehab didn't go well. He was playing before he should have. Um, his mentality was all fucked up. He played for a fucked up organization on top of that in like my team in Washington. Um, like, yeah, sure. He's still in the game, but at what? like capacity like you know it's not the same for him um at least his luck could say yo i went out pretty much on a high note because the last year that we will remember andrew luck for will be like a dope ass year you know where he led his team to the playoffs shit good for him good on him like yo wish the man like all the luck in the world, excuse the pun. Yeah. Again, excuse the pun again, but he's lucky to be able to leave when he left. Alright, last note. Indianapolis Colts fans, go fuck yourselves for that boring shit. Again, we as fans lack any real compassion for our players. Our compassion only is dictated by how effective they can be for us on the team and whether or not what's going on is going to affect that potential gain that that person can give us that you know potential asset that he could be nobody was thinking about the fact that Andrew Luck like has been really really fucked and was struggling to keep recovering from injuries and had accumulated a lot of physical damage that wore him mentally none of us are thinking about that 
or at least none of y'all are thinking about that, I should say. I am, but apparently a shit ton of Indianapolis Colts fans aren't. Because y'all booed him at the fucking game. Like, he fucking, you know, fucked your daughter and got her pregnant. Come on, y'all. Chill. Seriously. The man's, like, entitled to walk off on his own terms. So what it didn't happen after he brought you a Super Bowl, you know? If your team actually is as good as it thinks it is, and if your management is as good as it thinks it is, they'll get you a Super Bowl. Don't worry about that. Let this man go off and have a normal life like he wants. He wants to be happy. Fuck. You know, we got to stop feeling like these players are enslaved to us to make us happy. I would love it if, like, half the things that happen on the Washington roster wouldn't have happened and like, people would have stayed and some people would have just left and all that but at the end of the day yo I think I just lost that personal like touch that a lot of you have where I take everything fucking personal you know it's not that offensive like yo be happy for the man that he could at least walk away with some type of you know feeling that He's going to have an okay life afterwards. You know. He has some peace of mind. And that's fuck it. Don't we all want that shit. Anyway. As always. You guys. Feel free to hit me up. Let me know what you think. And I'll holler at you later. This is your boy Black Makers. And I'm out. Deuces.